Yo, what's up guys, this is Gloves here, and this is the next episode in the building up to Black Ops series. Um, and this is uh, pretty interesting gameplay, as you'll see probably later on, I'll talk about this a bit more in a minute. But I've just finished up with a massive Halo 4 session, and man that game is fun online, just messing about with Oddball, a game, I'm sure I have a few little games of that online, because we've got a few fun tactics that we're going to be doing on that, and I'm probably going to be showing quite a bit of it, because it's a really fun game online actually. And I just hope the Black Ops is as fun online. I know I'll definitely play it a good couple of days when it comes out straight. I'll probably have a day of gameplay in the first week. Hopefully I'll get a few games that I can post up on this channel nice and early to try and get a couple out in the first few days so they're still relevant. Um, anyway. Sorry, got my message. Anyway, yeah, sorry about that. Um, this gameplay is, uh, I get a lot of kills at the start here, I managed to rush to their spawn at the start in a game of sabotage, something that I don't usually play that much of, but I ended up having a decent little game here, and this is a game that I was talking about in the, the first episode, if you've seen that, if you haven't, the link will be in the description, I would love you to go check that one out. It is um, a game that I'm playing with Dr. Glavin, and a game of s sabotage, which we come very close to winning. As you can see, I'm going on a bit of a tear here, keep it going. I've tried to speed it up in the bits where um, I've not really done too much because this game will be quite a long one. It'll probably be about, I don't know how long, seven minutes, eight minutes? I'm sure it'll see, you'll obviously see it when it's in the thing, but I would, don't have that luxury right now. Right behind him, not sure what this guy's doing. <laughs> how he didn't see me, I will never know. Get a bit lucky here. Don't complain at me for using these. Everyone uses them, so that's one thing that I don't really like too much when people say oh don't use these guns they're overpowered don't use these guns they're overpowered in the first few days everyone's going to be using the best guns in the game everyone uses at the start of Modern Warfare 3 everyone was using the UMP, the ACR the MP7 when they worked that one out uh, guns like that everyone was using them because they were the best guns in the game and everyone wants to get off to a cracking start in the Call of Duty campaign of that game that particular game died there don't get too many deaths so that was a rare one for you I said don't get too many, I get quite a few. <laughs> um, yeah, so when people complain about people using guns that are overpowered, everyone's using them, so you just need to get on with it and just once you've had you've got a decent amount of game time in the game you can start using your funny weapons, you know, your PM nines and shit like that and black ops, all the submachine guns, bar probably the MP five, the AK seven for you was obviously a good gun as well, but the other ones like the Spectre and stuff, you could just use them for messing about. Use them quite a lot on that game to be honest because I never really played it seriously so I just sort of tried to joke around and that did a lot of um, sort of random classes with my friends and we just hop on and just give each other random classes quite a nice little bit of play I don't know how that guy killed me there I assumed that I'd been able to get him but it was a bit of poor play from me there that is a guy not exactly sure what minx he's doing they're lying down actually looking at him he might have been the guy in the uh Recon drone, that's what it's called. I haven't played this game in ages. I'm so rusty. The other day, yesterday, the Search and Destroy game that I posted yesterday. Um, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's a pretty decent little gameplay. Um, I, can't, I could not think of what that map was called. I still can't to this day. What the fuck is that map called? <laughs> it just shows how rusty I am. I haven't played this game in a long time, so I haven't been having to vote for these maps that come up. Now, one thing um, I don't like about Halo is... Um, the vehicle warfare that they have in that they have a lot of like the banshees the um the mechs whatever they're called the mantis and stuff like that there's so many things like that and yeah you can go on a tear when you get in them it's fun when you're in them when you're not in them you're absolutely fucked it's so difficult to get in there when someone who actually has a clue of what they're doing gets in one of them um that's one thing that i think there was a, sort of that problem in World at War when you used to play get tanks on certain maps. To be honest, I didn't play too many games when there were tanks, so I didn't play those game modes as much. Because obviously I'm a search player, so I like to play search a lot. <laughs> Don't know how this guy doesn't kill me. He knifed. Uh, I managed to just knife him before he got me. <laughs> Missed with the first knife. Yeah, there's too many um, vehicles in Halo on the certain map. Uh, Ragnarok. Ragnarok. Um, the Ragnarok map is one that I don't like. Obviously, it's a classic Halo map, but I don't like that due to all the vehicles on that one so we'll, we'll have that problem obviously with the tanks sometimes but I don't think it was that much of a problem you could easily avoid them there were only two tanks on the map weren't there so it was easy enough to get through them. Oh, Von Ostan! <sighs> How many times has that happened to you? You get on a decent little streak, you start getting on a bit of a tear and then Dead Man's Hand takes you down. Obviously that guy tactically, insert, tactically inserting in 
probably one of the most untactical spots in the map was uh, probably not the best thing that he could have done, so I managed to get in. Look how close we get to winning it here now. We think we've got this under control. We've already had been in this situation before. We've been in this situation before. No. 0 0.9 seconds left on the timer. They defuse it. We've got a chopper out. We had guys around there. We managed to get the plant in there. We're able to defend it there. Surely this is going to be an easy win for us. 0 0.9 seconds away from victory here. I've had a decent little game. Get another plant in. Don't want to spoil it for you, but in fact, I do get the plant in. We've got a couple of guys down here. We should be right. I'm still alive. We've got guys should be spawning around here. We've got a guy right here. We've got a couple of guys coming around. We've got a helicopter out. Is a guy getting there? I'm just praying that this guy goes in. No. He doesn't even move in to try and defuse the bomb, play the objective. This is what I don't like to do. don't like people doing. We find the fact in Halo a lot of people playing the objective a lot more where we were playing oddball and that's obviously that objective game mode is that's extremely fun. I know I'm talking about it a lot but that was really a fun game mode when you've got a squad going. And obviously when you're on your own it's not quite as fun or when you've got just two people and you can't have that communication. Obviously that's a problem with a lot of games and when you've got up a good squad it's a lot more fun than just playing solo. I found that on Modern Warfare 3 I found that I also often had probably three players and if I had probably two or three more we would have done a lot better. Probably the stats would have been a lot better, but you know, you got to get on with, you got to work within your means, you got to do what you can. I'm thinking of Black Ops 2, they'll probably be, probably we'll have a team of, a squad of about four or five. Um, obviously we're going to be playing probably a lot of zombies, that's the one thing that I think everyone's looking forward to. It's sort of been kept under the, sort of swept under the carpet at the moment. All the information seems to be kept under wraps, so we're not sure. As you can see, the gameplay is winding down and they've got the bomb planted. And we went from 0.9 seconds, 0.9 seconds we were away from winning this game and we ended up losing it. Anyway, Black Ops 2, catching up on us guys, 42 and 10, 42 and 10 and we lose. <sighs> Peace out guys, I'm done.